This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Level 7E Problem Number 29. Anne, Boris, and Carl ran a race. They started at the same time, and their speeds were constant. When Anne finished, Boris had 15 meters to run, and Carl had 35 meters to run. When Boris finished, Carl had 22 meters to run. What was the distance they ran? A, 135 meters, B, 140 meters, C, 150 meters, D, 165 meters, or E, 175 meters. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. So to start, when we have a problem that discusses speed, time, distance, we want to use the distance formula, which is that distance is equal to speed times time. Well, how might we rewrite this formula to better suit us? Well, the problem tells us that the amount of time it takes Anne to finish. At that time, Boris has 15 meters left to run. Carl has 35 meters left to run. And then at the amount of time it took Boris to finish, Carl has 22 meters to run. So what is everything in terms of? It's in terms of time, right? When and the amount of time it takes and to finish, we know how much the other two have left to run. So we should rewrite this in terms of time. Time is equal to distance over speed. Now before starting to plug in values to our little formula, we should define some variables. So let's start with x. Let's let x be the distance from start to finish. So that's the total distance that they need to run in this race. And that's what we're looking for, right? What distance did they run? Now for the speeds. Let's let s sub a be Anne's speed, s sub b be Boris's speed, and s sub c be Carl's speed, because we know that their speeds were constant. What does that sentence mean? It just means that each person is running at a constant speed throughout the entire race. They don't slow down, they don't get faster, they run at the same speed. But those speeds are not necessarily equal to each other. Each one can have a different speed, but again, each person themselves keeps running at a constant rate the entire time. So now let's, let's use this in terms of time. Well, we can use this part of the sentence. We know that when Anne finished, so that's this part right here. When Anne finished, she has gone a total distance of x, right? Because she went the entire race from start to finish in a speed of s sub a. At that same time, Boris had 15 meters left to run. So how far has he gone? He's gone x minus 15, because he still has 15 meters to go, in a speed of s sub b. And Carl, at that time, has 35 meters left to run. So his total distance is x minus 35 over the speed of s sub c. And now we can also set up another equation using another part of the problem. We know that when Boris finishes, Carl had 22 meters to run. So when Boris finishes at that time, he has gone a total of x um, meters, right? Because he finished. He went all the way from start to finish. And Carl has gone a total of x minus 22 meters. And again, Boris's speed is constant, s sub b. Carl's speed is constant, s sub c. So now we can solve for x. How might we do that? Well, one way we can do that is by looking at these two equations. Because we have this s sub b, s sub c, s sub b, s sub c. So... One way we can do this is by rewriting this equation in order to isolate s sub c over s sub b. And then we can do the same with the second equation and set the x parts equal to each other. 
So rewrite, rearranging what we have here, we have S sub C over S sub B is equal to X minus 35 over X minus 15. Again, we want to do this because we want to isolate for X, solve for X, because that's what we're looking for in a problem. Now, we can rewrite this second equation. Again, isolating S sub C over S sub B by cross multiplying. And we can find that that's equal to X minus 22 over X. So now that we've set these two things each equal to S sub C over S sub B, that means that this X minus 35 over X minus 15 must be equal to this x minus 22 over x. So then we can cross. So we just figured this out, and then from there we can cross multiply to get x squared minus 35x is equal to x squared minus 37x plus 330. Now this is, these are nice numbers, we can uh, Subtract x squared from both sides, add over 37x to get that 2x is equal to 330. Dividing by 2 on both sides, we get that x must be equal to 165. So our correct answer is answer choice D. They ran 165 meters. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.